Hello and welcome to the final stage of this first virtual Tour de France. As tradition dictates, the Tour de France ends on the most beautiful avenue in the world. There will be a virtual version in Zwift this afternoon, but the riders will have the right to their frantic sprint on the Champs-Élysées. 42.8 kilometres to be covered by the men and women, with six intermediate sprints before the final run to the line. We start with the women's race. Team Tipco Silicon Valley Bank are already in the driving seat for the yellow and polka dot jerseys, but the American team could now decide to chase the green. After two intermediate sprints, they are starting to look threatening. Nina Kessler scores maximum points, with teammates Stevens and Newsom in the top five. Multiple world champion Mariana Voss for CCC Live is present for the last stage. She won La Course by La Tour de France on the Champs Elysees in 2014. At the front, a group of around 30 women are leading. Tipco are again present with their entire team. Danny Christmas, the most combative rider yesterday, is chasing points. But behind her, Newsom, Kessler, Stevens and Dixon are taking bonus after bonus and opening a lead in the green jersey contest. The leading group race flat out to the finish. Winner of two stages, April Tacey, is there with a chance of a hat trick. As the peloton reaches the final 300 metres, many riders ignite their power ups to gain more speed. Lauren Stevens in the yellow jersey appears 150 metres from the line in the lead. April Tacey challenges, but Stevens clinches her second win. 2020 have a good day with two riders in the top five, whilst FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine Futuroscope gain a top 10 with French rider Evita Muzic. We came into the stage today focused on taking the green jersey. We knew we were going to keep the yellow jersey, so we made a plan to keep the green jersey. And I think a hard, controlled race is the best for our team. And that's what we did today. As expected, Tipco Silicon Valley Bank struck gold on this tour. Best team, yellow, green and polka dot jersey. Only the white jersey escapes them. Canyon Shram wins this classification. There's no doubt as to the winners of this first virtual Tour de France for women. The men's race now. NTT have dominated the classifications. Now they just need to ensure the victory on the final laps of the Champs-Élysées. Many sprinters are present on this race. NTT have Edvald Bosenhagen and stage winner Ryan Gibbons. Brian Cockard is there for B&B Vital Concept. Van Poppel for Circus, Trentin from CCC and Viviani from Cofidis. Amongst the big names for this last stage, we note the presence of four times Tour de France winner Chris Froome of Team Ineos. He doesn't stay with the lead group and will watch the sprinters fight from afar. The rally racing team are represented again by stage winner Matteo Dalcin, a big fan of Zwift. The pace remains high throughout. Around 20 riders are racing for the win. Ryan Gibbons is feeling the heat. Alperson Fenix with Janssens and Rijkaard put on a good display in the intermediate sprints. And as we near the finish, NTT are well represented. It is Edvald Bosenhagen who launches the sprint from a little too far. Ryan Gibbons makes a good effort 200 metres from the line, but it is Australian Will Clark of Trek Segafredo who powers home first. He is just ahead of Filippo Ganna, the Italian of Team Ineos. A wonderful win for Will Clark of Trek Segafredo. NTT secure all classifications in this first ever virtual Tour de France. I guess uh, the last uh, last week I sort of went too early in the sprint and I figured out how far I went too early last week and made sure this week that um you know I timed it I timed it right but yeah it was still still hard to pass everyone I came from a long way back. <laughs> To all of you across the world in these difficult times, thank you for supporting the race. We leave you with the highlights of six stages of an exceptional event that's given us a glimpse of the sport we love. Bye for now.